While exploring the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, Kathy and I filmed some incredible animals. One animal in particular is the red fox. Our first fox encounter occurred one evening after filming some baby beavers. Later, we came across another individual who was scavenging for food in the parking lot. All which have been rewarding sights. After those experiences, Kathy and I began craving for more foxes. Let's go on a fox hunt. Jackpot! Our first fox of the day. It is a colored individual searching for food alongside the road. It appears the fox is interested in crossing the road. It searches for food along the shoulder while it waits for the car to pass. All clear. Time to cross. This is a very important reason why you should pay attention and obey the speed limit within Grand Teton National Park. Many animals are often seen foraging alongside the road or even crossing the road. Obey the speed limit, keep your eyes open, and let's help keep the animals safe. We watched as the fox traveled further down the road. It's a fox on a mission. After scouting out other areas, we noticed the fox reappear further down the road. We sat and watched as it trots along the meadow. It's hunting. The predator waits patiently for the right opportunity to pounce. Foxes have an incredible sense of sight, smell, and hearing. Its ability to hear low frequency sounds allows it to locate small animals digging in the soil. We are witnessing a game of survival. Will this fox successfully catch a meal? It missed. Did it catch its meal or did the prey escape? It's hard to tell, but I'm assuming that the fox missed. Option B, time to dig it up. It attempts to locate the rodent, but appears the small animal manages to escape. Not every hunt is a successful one. To keep from starving, the fox must continue searching for more food. It searches near the road, tuning into the song of nature to locate another potential victim. Luckily for the fox, they are omnivores and opportunistic hunters. This means they are capable of eating a variety of things ranging from plants to small animals. This solitary hunter patrols its territory, which can be as big as one to five square miles. Upon closer examination, you can tell this individual has a radio collar and a couple ear tags. The tags help biologists identify the animal. The collar is used for radio telemetry. By using an antenna, the biologist can receive signals from the collar to help locate the animal. In addition, the collar has a built-in GPS unit so researchers can map out its movements. This gives scientists an estimate on the size and location of the fox's territory. The disappearing fox gives us the signal to move on and continue our hunt. Okay, we are out on the trail looking for a fox. What do you think our odds are, Trevor? Not really feeling it. <laughs> Still having a lovely hike. I, I think that our fox, uh, see, it feels like the fox will be the opposite direction. The way we're going now, I don't think the fox is down here. 
and it turns out my intuition was correct. We found our second fox closer to a parking lot. Hey, I know this fox. It's the same one we encountered on a previous day. He's a gorgeous animal. Crawling onto my stomach, I'm hoping to get a beautiful eye level shot of the fox while appearing less threatening. Looking through the viewfinder, I attempted to photograph the fox. Whoa, that surprise moment when you look up from the camera and realize the animal is a lot closer than you thought. The cautious fox checks me out. Hello friend, you're a beautiful animal. This is definitely a magical moment. Happiness and excitement fills my soul. Yep, I definitely love foxes. The fox loops around Kathy as it continues to study us. One final look and off it goes, continuing its journey into the wild unknown. That was incredible. Check out these amazing photos I captured from the experience. Today was definitely a great fox day. Subscribe to Trekking with Trevor so you can continue to join Kathy and I as we explore and discover the beauty of nature.